Hi, I'm Peter here. I just want to run through today um, just a modern, to explain a little bit about the modern diesel piston design and how they've ended up the way they are and why they are the way they are. So we'll go back from the beginning just to explain some pretty obvious stuff. This is out of a 1KZ. Um, extremely reliable and extremely simple basically for a diesel piston. They are virtually a flat top. They do have a couple of valve reliefs in the top. But you can see why they're so solid, um, why they last. There's no real surface area to crack or whatnot. Obviously, admissions weren't, uh, and Euro specs and that weren't as big an issue back in the day that these were around compared to modern vehicles. But that is a simple um, early model, pretty common, reliable piston. Then they went to this is indirect injection, obviously, so your pre comp chamber is in your cylinder head. Once they went to direct injection, this is an 80 series 1HDT piston. Uh, the combustion bowl, instead of being a pre-comp chamber in the cylinder head, turns into the top of the piston. But this is pre, once again, pre-Euro spec. Uh, emissions weren't such a big deal. Obviously, if you see an 80 series cruiser, put your foot down from the lights or whatever, they do blow a lot of smoke. So the bus combustion bowl is in the top of the cylinder. Interesting that they don't have oil cooling, but they were, once again, a very strong piston and never had really had too much drama as far as the piston goes. They would traditionally blow down the side, um, like a t normal turbo engine does, but as far as cracking and whatnot, wasn't really heard of. So that clearly, you can see the difference. Then we go to uh, what we call the, um, a, well, this is more of a modern piston design. There are different manufacturers do different uh, things to them to make the way they are. But basically what we're trying to achieve here, this is when admission comes in and we have got to try and the injector, the way it works, will fire directly on top of the bowl, in the centre of the combustion bowl, on top of this mound that's in the centre. This is called a redirection bowl. The reason it's called that is because as the injector, went, once it opens and delivers fuel into the combustion bowl, what it's designed to do is as the piston travels down the cylinder, the fuel is redirected back around through, the, through this loop, redirected so as the flame front travels down the cylinder, it burns any fuel initially wasn't burnt in injection. So it's a redirection bowl for the fuel. The, now this one's, this one's not a Toyota, that's a Ranger one. The trick is obviously this is where cracking and whatnot comes in. 1KD has quite a sharp edge here. If you compare it, I'll try and get you some photos to things like a Ranger and other manufacturers where they have a much broader lip here. Obviously the issue there becomes performance and fuel because any fuel injected that hits that lip will not atomize properly. So the thinner you can get the lip, the better burn you'll get, more performance, less emissions. So the trick is the combination of trying to get that lip as thin as you can with it, keep it as strong as you can. Obviously this lip here is very thin and that's where most of the heat is concentrated. So it's gonna suffer the most. So that's where you'll get any sign of poor combustion or anything showing up will always come around this lip. So if there's any way I can help, if you've got any questions or whatever, I hope that does explain a little bit, please give me a call.